Jesus is. I ain't got no word. Good morning, church. Good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. I'm going to give God glory and honor and praise this morning for who he is and for all he has done. We thank God this morning that we can see this day. He allowed this day to happen. Scripture said, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. For the service, we have a song from my choir. We have a prayer scripture by Deacon Woods. We have a Sunday school review by Brother Herbie Huey. We have a song from my choir. After that, the preach word for the church sing. Amen. 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 Come on, choir.
I know that in our scripture this morning, and we're going to read from Psalms 27. All right. It says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my prey, they stumbled and fell. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. No war shall rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Oh, but don't you love this next verse? For in the time of trouble, see, I told you trouble don't last always. In the time, the scripture says, for in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his provision. Right in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock, and now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies around me. Therefore, I will offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Father in heaven, we come this morning with one more opportunity. You have given us to praise your holy name. We can do it at home, privately, among ourselves. We can do it with our family. But here you have allowed us to come into the corporate setting of Second Baptist Church. Yeah. To lift up your name with yeah. fellow Christians and fellow believers. Yeah. We come here to recognize that trouble don't last all day. Yeah. We know that we've been made you all can do it for a night, but what did you say? In the morning, joy comes. Oh, We're going to thank you, Father, for the victorious morning you've given us. We're going to thank you in advance for the morning, the victory. We pray for Father, those we have among us that are sick, hospitalized. We pray for the bereaved among us. There are so many losses there. But lift up the fallen hearts, Father. Strengthen the weakened souls. Even the bodies that are aching and filled with pain. Let them know that trouble, pain, misery, and sorrow don't last all week. Because there's joy in your name. We thank you for the joy of your name. We thank you for the gift of salvation. We thank you for our life in you. We thank you for the blessings you shower, shower down upon us. And we thank you for in advance for what you're going to do for us as we go forward in your name. Now for the rest of the service, Father, you take control. Bless every heart that's here. Bless every mind, every body that is a part of the service, either here or remotely. Yes. Yes. We ask, Father, that you guide us, direct us, and bless us. Yes. These and all other blessings we ask in the precious name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Yes. Amen. 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 Trouble no less. Amen. 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 Question this morning, 
What do you see? Do you see an optimist? Or do you see a pessimist? Do you see a glass half full? Or do you see a glass half empty? Do you see a ray of sunshine? Or do you see a dark, gloomy cloud? Do you see a congratulator? Or do you see a hate? Do you see a redeemed of the Lord? Or do you see a hypocrite? We a lot of times how we see ourselves is how we treat other folks. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you yes, sir. can't stand yourself, <laughs> how can you stand other folks? That's right. That's right. Say that. Yes, sir. You were created a free will, free thinking individual. You and you alone are responsible for the decisions you make and your actions. It's not nobody else's fault. Yes. Our government, the House, the Senate, governments are made up of individuals. Yes. And the problem comes in when the individuals in government do not govern and make rules according to God's statutes and standards. Right. Yes, sir. That's where we go wrong at. Now, I'm going to give y'all an answer to the world's problems. All right. It's simple. Okay. If we all could see each other the way God looks at us. When God looks at us, it's from a point, it's just love, 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 love. That's all he sees yeah. is love. If I look at you that way, I can't do you no harm. I can't break into your house. I cannot do nothing to you or your family. I can't hurt you. But that's a tall ass. You know? Because it's, it's hard to look at other folks the way that the Lord looks at you. But if we ever get to that point, problem solved. That's the answer. When we see Amen. each other, the way the Lord sees us, all the problems will be solved. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. This week's lesson, I know some a little bit about that. The title is Justice yeah. Yeah. and the Marginalized. Yeah. Imagine spending 10, 15, 20 years in prison. Yes, sir. My Lord. You don't you won't feel that bad if you did. Yeah. I did the crime. Hello. I'll do the time. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. But imagine doing all those years. And you know you're innocent. That's right. And in my 25 years working in the Department of Correction, I've seen, I'd say, 20, 25, as many as 30 individuals released because DNA was an advance back then mm -hmm. as it is now. Yeah. Yeah. That's part of it, but that ain't, that ain't really all of it. When you rounding up young black men, young Hispanic men, put them in that little room and beat them, oh. torture them, yeah. hooking up the electricity mm. you know, to their private parts. My, 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 my. Waterboarding didn't start. With, with um with the with the war, man, they was doing that. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. <laughs> to do all that time that you can't get back. Amen. Now that's not justice. That's right. That's the reason that the death penalty was abolished in this state. Because yes, there have been innocent folk who have been executed. Yeah. Yeah. 
So to, to remedy the situation, now you, you can just do life. I mean, just last week, a couple brothers got out. Over 20 years yes, for sir. something he did not do. Locked up my, as a teenager my, 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 my. and just beat and beat and beat until he said, all right, I did. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, I'm going to read something to you. Yeah, that's just what I need, my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> and this, this is a perfect summary for uh, this week's lesson. I mean, I, I could have said it no better myself. So, I mean, it, it just breaks it down and makes it plain. It's from, it's from Deuteronomy uh, chapter 24, beginning at the 10th verse. Yeah. A pledge was a token that a debt would be repaid. Right. Since this involved the regulations, protected the, de the debtor's privacy and ability to, to provide for his family. Uh -huh. The following laws allow property owners and laborers to receive a due profit from their properties and their labor. At the same time, both the owners and the laborers were to resist any greedy actions that would prevent a reasonable provision for the poor in their communities. The passage exhorts the Israelites to remember their people's own slavery in Egypt just as God showed compassion on them yeah. when they were oppressed, they were to show compassion on those who were now poor. Yeah. This lesson is it, teaching us, it's focusing on the dignity of the poor. Right. Now, God, God don't care if you're rich, if you're poor, if you're black, white, if you're cat, whatever you are. God doesn't care because he is no respecter of persons. Right. In God's eyes, we're all equal. Amen. Matter of fact, Jesus even went so far as to say, you know, I won't always be with you, but the poor are always going to be among you. And I mean, you, you see them every day as you're going about your business. You know, standing out there on the expressways outside the stores and uh, brother, can you spare a dime? Can you do this? You know, can you give me this? Can you give me that? I mean, that, that's your decision to make. You know, the, the spirit will let you know if, if he's sincere or not. The bottom line is, you are no better than nobody else. None of us are. Right. We ain't no better than nobody else. Right. And, and there ain't no such thing as good luck or bad luck. <laughs> You're either in favor with God or you right. That's the bottom line. Right. So, this lesson is urging us to just have compassion for one another. Right. I mean, the system, how they keep us there? Yes. They keep us fighting against each other. Yes, man. Those that have the rich and everybody that's not rich. Yeah. They keep us fighting and while they just getting richer and richer and we get poorer and poorer. Yeah. So, um, like uh, the deacon said earlier, God blesses us so we can be a blessing to somebody else. Yes, sir. So don't, don't sit on your stuff. Share it with somebody who has less than you. Go on, go on, go on, go on. That's where you get your blessing. Bless you. Amen. God bless you, Lee.
And all the people said, Amen. Amen. Put our hands together again for the choir. Amen. Well done. Well done. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Kendall, my namesake, Brother Larry. Amen. All our choir members that are in the house today, we thank God for just them being here. Let's put our hands together again. Amen. 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 Son, uh, Huey, and Deacon Wood, thank you all for being a blessing to us this morning. Amen. 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 It's a blessing to look out and see all y'all in the house today. Praise the Lord. And we just thank God for being here with us, uh, with many of us. Uh, sister churches are, are not operating. We just thank God for this privilege and blessing and covering to still operate in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Yes, Brother Hugh, we acknowledge we're in the last Sunday of January. Time is moving very quickly. Yeah. And with everything going on in our society, it seems so surreal. Yeah. That, that only impacts our perception of time. To go even fast. Yeah. So, Amen. Praise the Lord that we're here today. Yeah. For the time we have allotted, we felt led this morning to share with you uh, three passages, and I'm going to span the entire Bible. <laughs> hello, hello, All hello. Right. Three passages. Amen. First one is in Genesis chapter 19. Verse 14, dealing with Brother Lot. Genesis 19, verse 14 says, Lot went out and spake to his sons-in-law, which married his daughters, and said, Up, get you out of this place, place being Sodom and Gomorrah, for the Lord will destroy this city. Here comes the but. But Lot seemed as one that mocked or joked unto his sons in law. In other words, they laughed him off. Hello, hello, hello. Turn with me now to Luke chapter 22. The main passage here. Verse 31 32 says. And the Lord Jesus said to Simon, he said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan had desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. Yeah. Comes the but. but I have prayed Amen. for you, yeah. that yeah. your faith fail not. Yeah. When thou art converted, strengthen thy brother. And then in Revelations 3, beginning with verse 8, Jesus says, I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door. And no man can shut it. I know that you got a little strength. You've kept my word and have not denied my name. I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. Not the church, the synagogue of Satan. Which say they're Jews and not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come worship before thy feet and know that I have loved you. Verse 10 says, Because you have kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation or trial, which shall come upon the whole world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Yeah. And this morning, we felt led to ask a question regarding all of us. And this question is, let me have you repeat after me. How is my, How is my desire, desire to leave sin? To leave sin. That's the question. Yeah, that's the question. 
how, 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 how is my, my desire? Now, the person next to me, my, my desire. Not the one I'm married to, not the folk in my family. My own, brother. You were talking about look to the mirror. Yeah. Hello. Mirror, mirror on the wall. How is my desire? To leave sin. That's the fundamental question in the eyes of God. That was one of my favorite TV series. Amen. Yeah, Yeah, before Tom Cruise came along. (laughs) Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, I watched Peter Graves. Yeah. Mission Impossible. Oh, yeah. And uh, I love the plot and the setup, but when that music started, that was my favorite part. (laughs) They always had, here comes, an exit plan. That's right. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Hello, y'all. And uh, that's another reason I like the James Bonds movie. No matter how, how thick the plot got, how sophisticated it was. Hello, at the end, it was an engine plane. Yeah. That's one reason I ain't like the, the latest one by mm. Daniel Craig, because that boy didn't have an engine plane. Because mm. <laughs> they finished with him yeah. playing James Bond. <laughs> so I'm grateful to God who never finished with us. <laughs> Hello, somebody. No matter how thick, no matter how dire, how bad life gets, I'm grateful this morning that as a child of God, as the old folks say, come hell or high water, as a child of God, we always have an exit plan. Ain't the Lord all right, y'all? Hello, y'all. Oh, yeah. uh, we, 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 we are agents in this world on a mission. And I know sometimes the mission can seem impossible. Yeah. But, but you, you ought to read, uh, you know, uh, Philippians 4.13. I, I can do all through Christ, who strengthens me. When I accepted Christ as my Lord and Savior, he said to be in the world, but not of the world. We, 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 we're pilgrims. We, we just passing through, y'all. Amen, amen. But, 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 but sometimes, y'all, some of us can uh, forget that we're passing through and kind of make this messed up world my home. Mm-hmm. And y'all, I, I, can't, I can't be more clear. The whole reason the world is in the shape that it's in uh-huh. is because of the worst word in the human vocabulary. Three letters. S I N. That's why what's going on is going on. And the Lord prophesied, it's this just the beginning, y'all. So, uh, we, we, we feel led. My job is to try to prepare God's people. Hello. That, that things can get worse, but God is always better than the worst outcome. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Because as a child of God, hello, we got an exit plan. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Now, that said, brothers and sisters, uh, it got bad in Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah. It, got, it got bad, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, brothers didn't want sisters no more. Mm-hmm. I, I ain't trying to talk about no group. <laughs> <laughs> These days you got to qualify. Hello. Right. Just preaching the text. Right. But, but brothers and sisters, when, when, when brothers don't have desires for sisters no more, that, that's pretty bad. Right. That, that right. <laughs> hello, I ain't talking about no hello, 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 hello. And, 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 and Lot had 
two daughters. Yeah. yeah. And they uh, jumped the broom with with a couple of brothers. Yeah. And uh, there was no consummation. Uh -huh. Hello, Tex said, you know, they was his sons-in-law. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hello, y'all. So yeah. these, these brothers had, they were preoccupied. Y'all yeah. <laughs> hear what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. But the time was up for the city. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the time was up. And I wonder, is the time up for our society? Yeah. I wonder. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Every time I look around in the newspaper, I see, you know, saw the first couple that got married this year in Chicago. And oh, no. Some of y'all remember that article? Hello, hello. Yeah. 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 I'll be wondering, am I in Sodom and Gomorrah? Yeah. <laughs> hello, hello. Yeah. And, and, and our time may be coming. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Time was up for Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah. Yeah. The Lord sent his angels. But before they could get to work, I'm so glad that Lot's uncle prayed for the righteous. Y'all hear what I'm saying? The righteous, those who desire to do right by the Lord. God has desire. He's got his eye on you and me. So even those about to come down on the city, God had a value to pull out the righteous. So Lot announced to his sons-in-law, hey, this place is finna give you, it's finna go up in smoke. Y'all need to come on with us. Come on with, 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 with me, my wife, and, and my daughters that y'all married. Yeah. Now I don't know what they was doing, y'all. I don't know if they was fooling around with Mary Jane. Jack. Brown Raw, I don't know what they was doing. But when they heard their father-in-law, it was like a joke. They started laughing. They had no desire to leave. Y'all hear what I'm saying? So they got left. Brothers and sisters, it's a tragedy. To have an exit plan. Yeah. Hello. To have an exit plan. When, when the bottom gets ready to drop out, God gives us an exit plan. Yeah. But we don't have a desire to use it. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Sometimes we can have some Jekyll and Hyde in us about that exit plan. All right. About my desire. Today I can desire, tomorrow my desire changes. Hello. You, I, I need to take a look at myself in this mirror. Yeah. Do I want it? Do I don't want it? Yeah. Or oh, it depends, it depends on when you ask me, brother. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, so the sons in laws laughed at, 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 at their uh, father in law. And uh, he was a little slowful himself. And God have mercy on us when we move slow, won't we, y'all? And wasn't there some decisions we should have made a long time ago before the thing got worse? But the Lord came and got us anyway. Ain't the Lord all right, y'all? Hello, somebody. Text say that the Lord, the angels, grabbed Lot, his wife, and daughter by their hand because they were moving too slow. Set them outside the city. Y'all yeah. yeah. hear what I'm saying? Yeah. And now they said, now you you outside the city now. We didn't did the hard work for you. Yeah. You ought to be able to do the easy part. Y'all yeah. yeah. hear what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Just put one leg in front of the other. Right. Hello. Yeah. Focus forward. Run for your life. Yeah. That's simple enough for me, y'all. Yeah. The Lord then brought me out, set me free. Hello, all I got to do is run. I hear the music. Dun, dun, dun. Hello, somebody. There, there, there is a time to put one foot in front of the other. When God has provided an exit plan 
from certain and sure destruction. Why go downhill, y'all? We've been with some partners. We know where that was going. Y'all hear what I'm saying? We was with brothers. We were some sisters. We know which way that was going. As as Solomon can a sister pull you from the Lord. <laughs> I'm trying to be polite here. That's all right. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah. That glue can be dangerous. Yeah. I ain't talking about Elmer's glue either. <laughs> Ask Samson yeah. about the line of blue. Yeah. Boy lost all his hair. <laughs> Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just so glad yeah. that, you know, in my day, I'm so glad the Lord gave me an exit plan. Yeah. Sometimes we can get in some stuff over our head. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Where we can't get out in our own strength. But he comes by and gives us a... Hello, somebody. Thank y'all for working with me this morning. So a lot of his wife, two daughters, had an exit plan. One foot in front of the other. But one of them had a Jekyll and Hyde problem. Hello. Sometimes you don't know, y'all, your own loved ones, your friends, no, your partners. You, you, you think they got the design. Yeah. Mm -hmm. get, get down that road, and lo and behold, Lot's baby is poo poo. It's boogie. <laughs> Did what the Lord said not to do. Look back. Yes. Now, all of us got control of our neck. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Where you look represents your design. Yeah. 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 And she got down the road and didn't have a desire yeah. to be delivered Hallelujah. and look back. Yeah. So it's the question on the table this morning. We know the world is messed up. Yeah. The old folks say getting worse and worse. All right. Yeah. That's how my old folks talk, y'all. Uh, how, 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 how is my desire to lead sin when my God gives me the exit plan? When he shows me the way out. Now, we, 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 we're Christians, y'all. Well, let's look at the first Christian leader. His name is Peter. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Brother Locke, for sharing with us about it. Yeah. how, you know, your family made it out, but only yeah. three of y'all made it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of testimony. But here comes Peter, mm -hmm. lead follower of Christ Jesus. Yeah. We're talking about the leader. Yes. But when Christ got betrayed, yeah. And, 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 and his Christianity, his fellowship, the day turned into night. Yeah. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, he, 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 didn't, he didn't do well, y'all. No, That's a big understatement. Mm -hmm. And Jesus even told him ahead of time. Yeah. I know, I know, we, we, we may pride ourselves on what we do for the church and mm -hmm. our attendance and what we do for the Lord. And Peter was like, Lord, I, I ain't going to never betray you. I ain't going to never. I'm going to be there for you. Yes. Right? But sometimes we speak in human strength. Yes. Yes. And brothers and sisters, sometimes human strength ain't enough. Yes. We, we, we got we to gotta operate in his strength. Yes. And y'all, Peter did the unthinkable. All right. When night came and the Lord got betrayed, he did the unthinkable. Yeah. He, he, he made the greatest sin on the planet. Yes, he did. The biggest sin on the planet. You said, what did he do? It's what, it's what he said. Yeah. 
I don't know him. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it was the biggest L-I-E on the planet. Yeah. Because when Jesus said, who do men say that I am? It was Peter. Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. But when night came, I don't know. Ooh, what's up with that? Not one time. Not two times. Three times. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, the devil got excited. He denied you three times. Turn him over to him. Let me put my hands on him. He, he mine. Anything that's a lie is mine. I'm the father of lies. He had that boy following you, number one, he just lied. Not once, not twice, three times. Get him to me. Come on, Pastor. Sometimes of Christians. Yeah. Can I fall through the trap though? That's right. Oh, yeah. right. Uh, you know, it was fear that made him lie. Mm -hmm. And if we get so afraid, and that just takes over, mm -hmm. it's like we ain't a Christian no more. Yeah. Y'all yeah. hear what I'm saying? Yeah, I am. Yeah, he failed, y'all. And he, he denied Jesus three times, and the text said there was a moment there. When it was a direct line of sight between Jesus in custody and Peter, and when Peter saw Jesus see him, ooh -wee, that's called the look. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Has anybody ever had that look before? Yeah, when I was a boy in church acting up, hello somebody. And mama put that look on me. I knew I was in trouble. Y'all yeah. <laughs> hear what I'm saying? Got home. She gave me with the wet dish rag, and daddy got me with the devil. Hello, sir. <laughs> but the look told me I was in trouble. <laughs> Jesus put the look on Peter. And the word is he went out and wept bitterly. And that's when the enemy had his hand on him, trying to destroy him. But Jesus said, I pray for you. That your faith fail not. Y'all hear what I'm saying? And brothers and sisters, our young people, yeah, they're going through. They're, they're facing trials and temptations. We can't keep them from experiencing trials and temptations. But we can pray for their faith. Because when we're going through trials, yeah. God is right there with us. Yeah. He knows just how much we can bear. Yeah. And he regulates the load so that it don't break us, but it builds us. Yeah. Yeah. Then he says, and he provides a way of escape. Yeah. Here come the music. Dun, dun, hello. Yeah. You get your way out, y'all. Yeah. And some of us as Christians, we, we, we got some of them one, two, three, some what we call repetitive sins. Mm. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, we, we all know, we look in the mirror, and I do this, yeah. this is about me in the mirror now. Mm -hmm. we, we know what my repetitive sin problem is. Hello. Yeah. It's quiet in here now, y'all. Oh, yeah. Y'all yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. hear what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, I've been doing it so often, Reverend, I, I forgot to ask for forgiveness. <laughs> well, when did you forget? <laughs> Reverend, I forgot when I forgot. <laughs> it's been years, Reverend. Right. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Brothers and sisters, I want you to know God knows the shape that we're in. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes we think the exit plan comes when the last breath comes. But I want you to know, without God, he gives that exit plan yeah. when we need it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Y'all hear what I'm saying? Some of us need to be delivered right now. Y'all hear what I'm saying? God is in the right now deliverance. Yeah. Some of them repetitive sins can get the best of us. Y'all hear what I'm saying? And I have even known the law to take those he loved maybe sooner than say he would have. But because he's a jealous God, he took them sooner than he would have. Because of that repetitive sin. Yeah. Y'all hear what I'm saying? I, I know some cases All right. where I, I just felt the Lord took him early. Because yeah. yeah. he's jealous. He loves them. Yeah. And if he would have let them stay a little bit longer, the enemy would have got a hold of them. Yeah. For no coming back. Yeah. How is my desire yeah. to leave sin? Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yeah. And Jesus here gives a promise to the church, knowing that the assembly of his people is going through. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That the enemy is raping. We're in Revelations now. Yeah. Speaking to one of the church, the church of Philadelphia. He said, I know, I know the church, you, 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 you got a little strength right now. You're not as strong as you used to be. Take a look around. Yeah. We're not as strong as we used to be. Yeah. All right. But the Lord, no, I know you got a little strength. Yeah. Hello. But but you hung in there. He said, behold, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to set in front of you an open door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. An open door. That means no matter how dark the tunnel gets, yeah. I can see the light. No matter how messed up the world gets, I, I, I can see that open door in front of me. No matter how depressing the news gets, no matter how messed up the family gets, I can see that open door. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? No matter what goes on, I got a way out of whatever. before you an open door. Yes. No man can shut. Yes. Sometimes folk try to talk to you, spread their gloom and doom, <laughs> pessimism to you. They can't shut your open door, y'all. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. You always got a reason to move on. Yes. Yes. You just passing through. Y'all yes. hear what I'm saying? Yes. And he promised, he said, because you persevered and kept my word, with the background being bad as it is, the devil being busy, he said, I'm going to keep you. Yes. That's his hand. Yes. In the hour of trial yes. that come upon the whole world, I'm going to keep you. Y'all yes. hear what I'm saying? Yes. And you got an open door. Y'all yes. hear what I'm saying? Yes. Now that open door is deliverance. Yes. It's right now deliverance. Yes. If I need deliverance right now. Yes. If Jack got the best of me, Hello, Mary won't leave me alone. Hello, somebody. Brother Fenton now, right around the corner. Hello, somebody. Yeah, yeah, I got an open door. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Our whole faith is built on an open door. On an exit plan. Y'all know how we got there, right? Here we go. One front. <laughs> Our own cap. Yeah, yeah. Our Lord and Savior. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Hung, bled, yeah. and died. Yeah. He died yeah. with all of us on his mind. Yeah. And he descended down to the lower parts of the earth. Yeah. Before he died, uh -huh. when anybody else died, yeah. there was no way out. Yeah. Y'all yeah. hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Gloom and doom yeah. in the lower parts of the earth uh -huh. where Satan is the warden over the prison of death. Yeah. But when Jesus died, yeah. he went all the way down yeah. where you and I 
are supposed to go. Yes. Stay down there on Friday night. Yes. All Saturday day. Uh -huh. All Saturday night. Yes. But early, early Sunday morning, you reached out and got all the power in the north. All the power in the south. All Because he wrote. Yes. You and I, we got a way out. Yes. It ain't going to be dun, 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 dun. That was <laughs> Oh, glory. Oh, glory. I'll fly away. Yes. When I die. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Do you know your music? Yes. When the time comes, do you, can you hear the music? Yes. Hello, somebody. If he needs to set me free now, let him set you free. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Amen. How is my desire yeah. to leave sin? Yeah. The doors of the church are open. If you hear now in the church, come on, man.
Thank you. You bring her this far to keep her. We're going to bring her through. We pray for breakthrough right now in the name of Jesus. We pray that you give her the strength in the name of Jesus to move forward, to let go and to let God have your way. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that you broke the chain. Thank you. That you broke the stronghold. Thank you, Lord. In the holy name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. That you set all of us free. We free indeed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. This is our prayer. Breakthrough for them in the name of Jesus. Yes. Look on, he can talk. Look yes. on, Sister Mary. Yes. Through the blood of Jesus to cover them, Lord. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. And we love you, Lord. Yes. And everybody say, Amen. 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 Amen.
one or two days and I was through. Mm -hmm. But this time I had made my mind up. I was going to fast and empty myself for God to use Amen. and to show me my purpose yes. in life. Yes. And God opened the door. Like Reverend said, the devil tried to close that door. Yes. But when God opened the door for you, can't nobody close the door. And the devil told me I couldn't fast because I'm a diabetic. Yeah. And I have other health issues. Uh -huh. But the Lord said I could. And yeah. I did. Yeah. My sugar has never been better. And I didn't get sick. My blood pressure stayed down. Yeah. Everything yeah. Oh, worked yeah. out good yeah. for me. Yeah. And when I was wondering, because my daughter would call me every day and say, How are you doing in the past? How are you doing? And with the food and everything, I did fine. And she would say, well, how's your, are you feeling closer to God? And I wasn't feeling it. Wow. And I couldn't say, yeah, that my prayer life is getting stronger, I'm getting stronger, because I didn't feel mm -hmm. that. Right. And I went to walk to Menards, and I just started shouting in Menards. <laughs> <laughs>
number of things that happened over the past three weeks. So, uh, when it first started, I didn't even know what the uh, diet consisted of. I had to Google it. I had to get all these different things and came back to church that next Sunday, you know, because I didn't have a partner, somebody to reach out to. I really didn't want to bug nobody. So I got to Sister Tyler the next Sunday. I'm like, Sister Tyler, you know, what's the diet kind of, you know, of a formality? I know it's no meat and this and that. I said, because I've never ate so many potatoes in one week. <laughs> I had a couple bags of turnips and mustard frozen in the freezer, and, you know, and I broke them out. I thought they were going to be good. But they gone, the potatoes gone. She said, get the sweet potatoes. <laughs> you know, so I had plenty of fruit, plenty of sweet potatoes. And I prayed, you know, I was praying to God for, you know, to reveal really what he wanted me to do with this business I've been trying to start for the past three years. Mm. Um, you know, it's stagnant, you know, but sometimes it removes some things out of your life in order for you to go forward. Mm. Yeah. You know, so when he finalized my divorce, first of all, he gave me a clear path to be that, that, that soul owner, that, that provider. I talked about various weeks about some things. Like, don't just don't do it, man. You know, it's simple, you know, but God said, wait. You know, he said, don't do it, now wait. Mm -hmm. That was about a year ago. And um, through the second week of the fast, that I found from Sister Tyler, I eat sweet potatoes, I did different things, so I was a little fuller, you know, than working off, you know, hunger and, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and, you know so, so now, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable, I'm praying to God, you know, to really what is it? You know, what is it that you have me to do or how you have me go about doing it? And, you know, I, I had a full-fledged physical appointment coming up and the doctor, you know, my mother had high blood pressures in the family. And the doctor said, well, you didn't be taking your medicine. I said, well, you know, the doctor, I've been, my diet been kind of sparing me this week, so you only got to eat something to take the medicine. I'm like, so I've been taking a little late. Uh, I said, but the last week, no, I haven't taken it. You know, he said, well, your blood pressure is outstanding. You know, you got good pressure. I'm like, well, you know, that's my grace of God. I've been praying for him to remove some sicknesses from me, some illnesses that, you know, sometimes you can't do nothing about genetics. Mm -hmm. That is what they are. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, as I walk through this, I'm, I'm, I'm fearing for what I'm trying to do with this business, and I'm praying to God to show me how that is. I had my little cousin work with me, and she called me and says, Cousin Larry, can you meet with me and Alice? Now, Alice, um, Thick Pen Gardener, is a cousin that's very well educated. I, I want to say multi-millionaire already. She's very well stable. And she, this is what she do, but I didn't want to bother her with that. But God sent her to me and said, Larry, I'm going to do this for you because what this business is you're trying to do is something that I've never seen done before. She said, you're going to be so prosperous in this that I have to give it to you. Uh -huh. And uh, her, her assistance that put me over the top, put me over the board. All my ducks are in a row. I didn't put all my eggs in one basket. And I thank God for delivering her to me, yeah. you know, to be an assistant to me to where I can move forward without the fear of felon because when you put God first, when you be still and you let him lead you, trust me, trust me, God, I'm no saint by far, no better than nobody in here, but I've been through some things that I know ain't nobody brought me out of but God. Amen. And if it wasn't him, I wouldn't be here telling you this today. I'm pretty sure that I'd be either locked up or in my grave. So I thank God for, you know, perseverance and keeping me on my steady walk to being strong in Christ. So this fast was not alone. Even though I might have done it by myself, I could confirm this, um, Mr. Sister Tyler, but God confirmed to me that if you just listen, be still, yeah. be yeah. patient, yeah. wait on him, he will guide your path. And if you don't follow the path he gives you, then shame on you. Amen. But don't sit around and wait. You got to do some work, too. Yeah. So yeah. I want to say with this fast, he's making yeah. me stronger in him. Um, he's giving me that the guidance and the leadership I needed to um, move forward. Yeah. So I'm going to pray my strength in the Lord. Yeah. And I'm gonna I don't want to go into what he had done for me because it's just going to take too long. <laughs> but I just want to know, tell you that he has done so many things, opened so many doors. I said, only God. Yes. 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 So I remember one night praying and going to the living room and the pastor came out and said, what's wrong? What's going on? I said, I don't know. I just know the Lord has me praying and all I can think of was Dorothy. Yes. And the Lord turned it around yes. to make it so that when I was, I'm going kind of fast because there's so much going on, but I don't want to take so long to tell you the details. But he turned it around so that God had showed me that there's so many doors, as the pastor was saying, that's going to open up. Yeah. Come on, 
But I just have to be still yeah. Yeah. and know that God is able. Yeah. But I have to just do his will. Yeah. Not my will, yeah. but his will. Yeah. And I just thank him for it. Thank you, Lord. take on point here is that the last three weeks was, I know you, that we think about the diet, what we eat, don't eat, and so forth, but the real point is spending that mind time with the Lord. Yeah. 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 It, it was to increase your mind time yeah. Yeah. with the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. And now that we've concluded the, the, the eating part, my prayer yeah. Yeah. is that we will continue yeah. to have that mind time yeah. Yeah. With the Lord. Is that all right? All right. All right. So we want to uh, thank Sister Luann. She had a birthday uh, that just recently passed. And then yesterday was Sister Kim Weeks' birthday. We appreciate her faithfulness with the uh, camera and the uh, streaming ministry that she does for us. God bless you. Happy belated birthday, Sister Kim. And then uh, uh, Marilyn Dixon's daughter, Susan Renault, yeah. she's yeah. a professor at the University of Missouri, and she yeah. got yeah. national recognition from yeah. American yeah. Association of Advancement of Science yeah. for her contributions yeah. for advancement of science. She's one of three yeah. professors yeah. at the yeah. University yeah. of Missouri. Yeah. And all that Marilyn Dixon's daughter, Susan Bruno. And then we want to keep uh, Brother Tom and Lula Morris in our prayers. Amen. Amen. Love them just like our own. We want to keep them in our prayers. Is that all right, y'all? Amen. Amen. All right. With that, let us stand. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I'm Nick Sanders and acting the chairman of the men's ministry. Okay. Um, next month is Black History Month. Y'all know that shortest month of the year. Mm -hmm. That's beside the point. It's also Men's History Month. Men's Ministry Month. Which means that we will be having men giving men's meditations next month. Uh -huh. um, the colors for next month are the first week on the 6th is black. Second week is red. Third week is green. Fourth week, African type. Uh, we ask for a donation of $200 if you can give it. Can't give two hundred, give us three or four hundred. We won't. Then we'll be meditating on men's issues primarily, but uh, just come and enjoy men's ministry month next month and keep us in your prayers. Amen. 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 There's a clipboard at the back with uh, verses. It's on the back row. If you plan on going bowling and you're pretty sure you're going, I need a count. So if you start signing that list in the back, so I can go ahead and put it. Down. What's the date again? Uh, February 12th, the second Saturday in February. Okay. Uh, at um, Kedra's Bowling on, on our field. All right. So the list is at the back. It's like deacon, preachers, we all invite. Amen. 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 Thank God for an exit door. Most gracious and eternal God, I call. Lord, truly you are awesome. Lord, you sit high and look low. And everything we go through, Lord, you already know. Father, even going through this pandemic period, Lord, you already was there. It was you who brought us through. And Father, for that we say thank you. For those that sit at home in fear of COVID need not to fear COVID, but they should fear you, O oh Lord. We should trust you and stand out on your word. Father, for you said that you would never leave us, nor would you ever forsake us. And then you said that you would be with us even until the end of the world. So, Father, we need to trust in your word and lean and depend on you. We 
continue to be about kingdom work and kingdom business. So, Father, I pray, Lord, with this exit, Lord, Father, that you would continue to use us to your glory and allow us to know that we can be in your house to lift up your holy name and to continue to tell the dying world about Jesus. Father, this is our prayer. In the master's and wonderful name of Jesus, we do pray.